Okay, so you lost your Android phone and you're panicking right now, or maybe you're just preparing for the future to when you do lose your phone. Regardless, you heard of something called Find My iPhone, but you never heard of something known as Find My Android. Well, I'm about to tell you right now that there is such a feature thanks to Google, and I'm about to show you how to use it in under 30 seconds. So let's begin. All right, so I have my Google Pixel 2 XL here and I have my laptop, so start the stopwatch now. Head down to Google and search up Google Android Track Phone, something along those lines. You'll find something that says find your iPhone and then boom, if you're already signed in, you'll see this link. Just press on whatever device you're missing, then quickly enter your password and go to next and you're done. Stop. And that's pretty much all it took for me to track my phone. Now you're wondering. What do you mean track? I don't see a tracking map or anything, right? Well, don't worry. All you have to do is press this locate button and it'll show you a map. I'm going to blur it out just because I don't want you guys to know where I am. Okay, this is perfect. So it's all the way zoomed out. So I'm not gonna go that closer or that zoomed in, but it pretty much shows where I live kind of over there because I'm in my house right now. So this phone is connected to my home Wi-Fi and you can also see the Wi-Fi over here it says alpha network it also gives you the battery percentage of the phone so a lot of the times you're not going to lose your phone at home so you're gonna lose it when you're not home and that would mean you're most likely gonna have your data connection on and hopefully you do have a data connection it'll also show your battery percentage and yeah you also have an extra bit of features that I'm gonna go over real quick with you guys so the first thing is play sound So even if your phone is actually on silent mode, this option over here will force sound to play on your device, which is really, really dope. The next thing is secure device. Uh, now I personally don't use the secure device option here. What I do is, let me go, oh, one more thing before I show you that is if you go here, you can see your IMEI. So if you do want to file a police report, you can use this number to file it um, legally. So what I want to show you guys is if you come back to the original page and go to lock your phone over here, you can write a phone number. So I'm going to put my phone number here. Um, actually, let me put a fake phone number. Four, seven, two, three, 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 three. Okay. So that's my phone number and you can write a note over here and then you can put a password here. So we're going to put one, two, three, four. Now, the thing is, if your phone already has a pin, like my phone does, it's not going to change anything. So if your phone does not have a pin, then you're going to override it with whatever password you put here. Now I'm going to press the lock button over here. And now it says this phone is lost and please help give it back. So let me come over there and show you guys. So as you saw, it gives you a message saying that the phone is lost and there is a green button that says call owner. And if I press that, it'll automatically dial the number that I just entered on my laptop. So it gives the person who has your phone quick access to you. And then there's one more last feature that I want to cover. And that is the erase device option. So if you see that the guy is purposely running away from you on the map and you know that he's not trying to return the phone and you're worried, do not worry, all you have to do is press erase device and all your data will be permanently erased from your device and it will be just like stock condition. Also, um, once you do press erase, it'll ask you to re-enter your Google password. If you don't want to erase it, but you still want to take some precaution, all you have to do is go back to the original page and choose sign out of your phone and press sign out. This option will keep all its data in your device, like your photos and stuff will be on your phone. But the best thing is your Google accounts will be signed out of, which is, I think, the most important part. So I showed you how this is how you do it. This is how you pretty much track your phone, locate it, uh, make it sound like an alarm, pretty much take all the measures as you can to actually protect yourself and to actually find your phone and get it returned to you. And we all did that in under 30 seconds. Pretty great, huh? Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like, comment something in the comment section below, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. That is so important. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another dope tech video. This is your boy Tech Alpha signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.